What's up everyone, me JP2 here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at another one of the Pokemon that got buffed. This is gonna be Shadow Straptor. This is probably one of the last videos I'm gonna make about a Pokemon that's been buffed, considering the season started like a couple weeks ago. But I did want to try out Staraptor in the Great League, because it did seem like it would actually be better with Fly, because it actually has a move that doesn't debuff itself now, so it, it's nice. It was actually able to put in a lot of work for me, so I was pretty happy about that. And the coverage move of close combat was also very nice. Anyways, that's about it. Let's get into the battles. Alright, so hopping into the first battle, and we pick up an absolutely awful lead, Quagsire and Gorgeist. Now, I switch out into Zapdos because I don't want to switch in the hard counter. And we bait out a Bastiodon. So it looks like someone saw the flying type thing and just saw Bastiodon. So I'm so glad I switched into Zapdos now because Star Raptor would not be able to do much. If... It would be able to hit with a close combat, but I don't even know if that would KO because Bastiodon's so darn bulky. Either way, we were able to just fully counter farm him down, and they bring in a Politoed. Now that we have Switch, this game should be pretty easy because we can just align Quagsire to Poliwag, and we get a shield with the Ancient Power. At this point, I just decide that I'll actually be able to make it to a Brave Bird, and uh, right before they make it to another move, I overfarm by one, win the CMP tie, go for the Brave Bird, and Brave Bird will take out the Politoed, and they have Gorgeist, and... We're just going to be able to switch into this Raptor, and there's nothing Gorgas can do. All of their energy is is resisted or double resisted, and it looks like the opponent just force quit the app. And Fly just takes out the Gorgas, and we get the screenshot, and we take that game. Hopping into the next battle, we lead Quagsire into Sh Shadow Venusaur. So once again, terrible lead, so we're going to switch out into Zapdos, and we pit out a Shadow Shiny Aerodactyl. This was just, this caught me so off guard. But I'm guessing that they're running another Shadow Shiny in the back. Like, that was just my team read. And they're going to make it to a move with the Aerodactyl. I decided to no shield. They shouldn't have anything that one shots. They go for a Rock Slide. It does significant damage. We just get a farm down. We bring it, They bring back in the Venusaur. And we can go for a Stone Edge. Stone Edge will be getting a shield. And at this point, it is just looking like a Shadow Staraptor sweep. They're going to be able to go for a frenzy plant we're gonna be able to shield it though so it doesn't really matter they actually go for sludge bomb i would have i would i would have gone for a frenzy plant bait there just because it's pretty obvious i was shielding but it looks like this opponent was not a fan of, of baiting they go for a frenzy plant now and then they switch into a shadow shiny blastoise so i was right it is a shadow shiny full team so but it doesn't matter we're gonna be able to go for a fly take out the blastoise after a few more wing attacks and take that game Quagsire is just not getting good leads as we lead Quagsire into Superior. We switch out into Zapdos, and the opponent switches into Dugong. This is why I love Zapdos as a Pokemon, because it's able to bait out a lot of the typical flying counters, and since most of them are rock types, steel types, or ice types, Zapdos actually still has some play into them. So we're actually able to shield the Icy Wind and go for the Ancient Power, and now we get Switch Advantage or Shield Advantage, which is perfect. The opponent does commit their shield, and they actually throw a move here. This is perfect because they're not going to have any energy left, and I can just bring in either Pokemon to get farm. I choose to bring in Staraptor, get a couple wing attacks. With that energy advantage and a shield, I'm pretty sure Shadow Staraptor beats pretty much anything, and so we're going to be able to go for a Fly. Fly does huge damage to the Jellicent, and the opponent is... I don't even know if they'll be able to make it to two Surfs at this range. They go for the first one, and they don't even make it to a second one. They have the superior in the back though, and yes, Fly does slightly less damage to Brave Bird, but it still fully one-shots the superior, and that's a good game. Hopping into the next battle, we see Quagsire into Hypno. Finally, a not a negative lead, but still basically just a neutral lead. We're gonna go for the Mud Bomb as soon as we get it, and Mud Bomb will definitely not take them out, but it will do some nice damage. Now they're gonna go for a move here. I still don't have to shield it. And they go for a Thunder Punch, so it looks like they're not running Fire Punch or Ice Punch. So we're going to be able to go for a Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb still doesn't take out the Hypno, and they're going to be able to make it to another move. If this is a Thunder Punch, though, Quagsire should barely live it, and it does. I think that's like 1 HP or something. And now we can either get Shield Advantage or Switch Advantage. The opponent lets the Hypno go down, but then they bring in Galarian and Stunfisk. Now, this is not the best, simply because I just have two flying types, but Zapdos still has counter. And in the back, they have Skarmory, so it looks like they're running double steel, which is not too good for my backline. I switch into Staraptor, trying to just catch a move, because at this point, that's all it's good for. But they don't, they don't go for the move. 
and we're gonna actually just get fully farmed down. On the bright side, they're just in full counter farm down range, but at this point I do realize I'm gonna get a shield if I go for the ancient power. So opponent does shield, and they don't even make it to another move. They were trying to double up or something, I guess, but now Zapdos just has two shields, so we're just gonna be able to fully farm down the Stunfisk. There's nothing they can do. They can go for a second rock slide, but we'll be able to counter farm down before they get to another one. So Zapdos will fully f farm down the Stunfisk, and we're able to take that game. Hopping into the next battle, and we lead Quagsire into Altaria. This is a terrible lead because none of my Pokemon really like to see Altaria. So we're just going to have to hope that we can land a Stone Edge. Because if not, there's nothing we can really do about this team. We land a Stone Edge, and the opponent is going to go for a move. Sky Attack will not take us out from this range, but it will get us pretty low. I try to make it to a Stone Edge, try and settle for the Mud Bomb, but I just get farmed down. Which is really unfortunate, but it's fine. We're going to be able to shield the Sky Attack and leave with enough energy to pretty much guarantee a shield from whatever they bring in. They bring in Metacham, so... I don't know what they have in the back, but I don't think it likes to see flyers. We'll be able to... Oh my goodness, they just let it go. I thought they were going to shield the fly, but it looks like they weren't. We can just go for a close combat into the Skarmory, get the shield, and they they should be able to get... We should be able to get to two Ancient Powers before they make it to two Sky Attacks. So it looks like this game is just good for us. I'm going to try and get to the back-to-back -back just so that we'll be able to just go for the back-to-back -back right into them. So they can shield the first one, but we're going to have a second one. And this second one will get them into a low enough range that even if we don't take them out with it, we'll be able to farm them down. One counter farms them down, we take that game. Hopping into the next battle, and we lead Quagsire into Latias. So, looks like we got some spice here. Now, we're going to be able to go for a Mud Bomb before they even make it to a move. But I am going to overfarm a lot and actually make it to a, the back-to-back -back before they decide to throw. Now, we can go for a Mud Bomb, and we do get a shield because of how much we overfarmed. And we're going to be able to go for a second Mud Bomb. Latias is not terribly frail, even in the Great League, so they are able to tank one Mud Bomb, and they're going to go for an Outrage. Outrage will take out Quagsire, and we're just going to be able to get a farm down with Staraptor. Now, they come in with a Tora Cat, and that's a very spicy pick from the opponent. I was not sure what to think of this. I immediately switch into Zapdos, the opponent switches into Golurk, so we're just going to go for a Brave Bird. And Brave Bird fully one-shots the Golurk. And at this point, there's just nothing they can do. I'm going to shield this just to get some extra counter damage off. And they're going to be able to farm us down, but they're way too low. So Straptor just will take the KO with the wing attack. We take that game. Hopping into the next battle, we lead Quagsire into Lantern. Finally a good lead. The opponent's staying in. And we're just going to be able to overfarm and win CMP with the Mud Bomb. So Mud Bomb will not take him out, but... It will do some nice damage. Now the opponent's going to go for a Surf. Surf's not going to take out Quagsire. I have no intention of shielding. And the opponent is just not switching out. So I don't even know what to say. I'm going to overfarm and win CMP again. And this Mud Bomb will take them out. And it just they just let it go. They then bring in Gligar. And this is not good. But at the same time, it's not exactly terrible. We're not, we're not able to get a shield with the Stone Edge, which is unfortunate. But they do have to throw because we'll make it to a Mud Bomb before they... Before they get before they can get the farm down. And we can just bring in Staraptor. Now they have two shields to hide behind, which is unfortunate. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to go for a full farm down and try to pressure both shields back after we get the farm down. Staraptor should have a pretty good shield pressure app applied to the opponent. So I think that we will be able to just get both shields back immediately. In the back they have Metacham. And yeah, we're just we're getting both of these shields back immediately. Because Fly will straight up one shot the Metacham. We go for fly number two. Fly almost takes him out. At this point, I realize I'm not going to make it to another fly. So I switch into Zapdos. But I switched in way too late. They are able to make it to a Psychic. Psychic takes out Zapdos. And Straptor barely gets farmed down. And we lose that game. GG's to the opponent, though. Hopping into the next battle. And we get a fairly neutral lead. Quagsire into Jellicent. And this Jellicent's running Bubble. So it's actually slightly worse for Staraptor in the back. So I'm just going to try and stay in with Quagsire, play out the zero or, or the one shield, and so they're going to go for a move. Quagsire does tank a Shadow Ball, albeit not very well. The opponent baits with a Bubble Beam. So all of a sudden this is a lot better because we can call the bait. Even though our attack is debuffed, they're still low enough that one more Mud Bomb will take them out. So it doesn't matter how low our attack gets here. They go for the Shadow Ball, it takes out the Quagsire. 
but we're just able to get a full farm down the Staraptor, and that's perfect. The opponent brings in Skeledurge, and the sheer fast move pressure of Incinerate now is oppressive, but they know Shield to fly, and we just fully farm them down. In the back, they have Umbreon, and we're just going to be able to pull a Shield advantage for Zapdos. So we get the Shield, we bring in Zapdos, and the opponent just concedes the match. Hopping into the next battle, we lead Quagsire into Altaria. This is not a good lead, so we're gonna, but we're going to still have to stay in, simply because my backline still doesn't like Altaria. Now, if they shield the Stone Edge, we're screwed, but they no-shield it. I'm assuming they, th they just think that Altaria tanks the Stone Edge, and we can't farm him down, so they'll be fine. But th that's what I'm relying on, because we're screwed if they shield it. They switch into Azumarill, but we're going to be able to go for a Stone Edge. Stone Edge actually does grab a shield, but now Staraptor has a shield advantage, and Staraptor will easily be able to take care of the Sasu. They outpace us to an Ice Beam, we have to shield because Staraptor is a piece of paper and will get destroyed by an Ice Beam. But we can go for a Fly. Fly does some amazing damage, and now we're probably going to be able to get a full farm down here. Once again, we'll be able to get the shield right back with the energy, so we can just go for a full farm down. We're going to actually get have to throw a Fly if they bring in the Altaria though. And we actually do have to throw a fly because we will get farmed down. But on the bright side, we should have enough energy to just be able to grab the shield anyways. So we can go for fly into the jump puff they bring in. It easily grabs the shield. And I think they're trying to get a farm down. I try and catch onto the Quagsire. I fail the catch, but the opponent still over farms. I'm assuming they felt like they needed to have energy for whatever we had in the back. But they over farm too much and it cost them. Hopping into the next battle, and we lead Quagsire into Golbat. This is, once again, one of those matchups that we need to land a Stone Edge. But the opponent is going to go for a Poison Fang. I don't have to shield this, it's resisted. Quagsire is still very bulky, even if it's a Shadow. We're going to go for a Stone Edge. Stone Edge gets no shielded and just takes out the Golbat. So I don't know what the opponent was thinking there, but whatever. They bring in uh, Ninetales, and this is not good because of how oppressive Charm is. So we can bring in Staraptor. The opponent throws, which is nice because we get one free turn of energy from that. And we're going to be able to make it to a fly. And we're probably not even going to be able to make it to another fly, which is the problem. We go for the fly, we get the shield. And at this point, we have to switch into Zapdos, hoping Ancient Power can get to him. And they throw. But look at how much damage the charms are doing. Zapdos is getting torn apart. We barely make it to an Ancient Power, but I don't think we're going to be able to take out whatever they have in the back. We go for the Ancient Power, get the KO, and in the back they have Shadow Quagsire, and yeah, this Mud Bomb, even, even at this range, Mud Bomb still takes out my Staraptor. So, they go for the Mud Bomb, and they get taken out, and they lose that game. Hopping into the final battle, we lead Shadow Quagsire to Shadow Golbat. This is not as good as the regular Golbat lead, simply because they're more likely to shield the Stone Edge, but this opponent goes right for a Poison Fang. Poison Fang still doesn't take out Quagsire, and we're going to actually go for a Mud Bomb bait, simply because I expect this Golbat to shield. The opponent does commit the shield, and that's nice, because um, we're going to still lose CMP here, but Poison Fang, I don't think it would take us out, but I still don't want to risk it, because it's Shadow on Shadow. So I shield it, and now we'll either get Shield Advantage or Switch Advantage, and I'm fine with either. We go for the Stone Edge, opponent shields, and we're actually able to make it to one more Mud Bomb. This Mud Bomb is nice, because the Mud Bomb will get some nice damage, and it might get him into Farm Down range. Now they will make it to back to back Poison Fangs, and I make a slight mistake here. I shield the first one. I shouldn't have because the second one will do more damage, but Staraptor, I don't think it gets taken out, even though this is debuffed in Poison Fang. We don't make it to a move though, so there's really no point of the Staraptor anymore, and the opponent sends in Pidgeot. The thing is, this Pidgeot's running Air Slash, and so they're not going to be able to make it to a move. Brave Bird annihilates the Pidgeot, and in the back they have Greedent. So this is actually amazing because Staraptor lives one bullet seed, even at its health range. So we will be able to make it to a close combat. Oh, we actually banked it. I didn't think we banked one, but close combat will annihilate the green. And we're going to take that game. My final thoughts on Shadow Staraptor is that it's actually much improved with Fly. Just being able to have a move that doesn't debuff its already low defense is very nice. So in the Great League, this thing's pretty good. However, I'm really curious about how this thing does in the Master League. Because I actually have a regular Staraptor and a Shadow Staraptor. Both of them are at level 50. So I want to see which one does better now that it actually has a, a good move that isn't going to debuff itself. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I'll probably get a video on it 
when Master League comes back out. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.